from shrapnel when the blast emits from the barracks. TZO. Spit it off the Richter when I hit it. Everybody listen, they can feel it. I'm a little bit. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bia Babu from TZO Strength, and today we have a special guest, Brendan O'Shaughnessy, aka Bravado, TZO artist, TZO Entertainment. What are we gonna do today? Today we're actually gonna bring you a very uh, simple, interesting video. Um, it's gonna be how to cook a flank steak, but how to cook it so that it's still macro friendly, which means that it's easier to fit into your diet. And the reason we wanted to bring you this video today was because we know that the hardest part of fitness, getting in shape, anything like that, is always the diet and it's because it's repetitive, it's constant, you always have to be eating properly. No variety. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you're doing in the gym if your diet's not on point. So we wanted to bring you this video just so you can kind of have something that's good, you know, it's gonna fit in most diets, so I'd say 90% at least, um, but it's also gonna taste pretty good, so you're gonna look forward to wanting to eat it. And it's moderately affordable, um, you know, it's still steak, steak's a little pricey, but of the steaks, it's still pretty cheap. So the first thing we're gonna do is just turn on the heat to about a medium-ish, just kind of let the pan heat up. While that's heating up, I like to take my steaks, got these from Costco. Costco forever. Yeah. Just kind of cut them open and use my tongs and just spread them out on the cutting board that I have right here. Right now, I'm just using uh, garlic and herb by Mrs. I mean, onion and herb by Mrs. Dash, some black pepper, some garlic salt, and I'll be putting olive oil in the pan. Just because it is a leaner steak, it will stick to the pan if it doesn't have a little bit of extra fat in there. I'm gonna throw the olive oil in there, and the sign you should look for when you throw the olive oil in there. Just get it in there. You want the olive oil to run like water. You know, oil's a lot thicker. So when it gets heated up, it gets that nice watery consistency, and you know you're ready to go. We have a nice hot pan, the oil's up to temperature, steaks are nice and seasoned. Just take it, always make sure to drop it away from you. Mm -hmm. You wanna hear that that's sizzle the, too, that's super the sound important. you wanna hear. It's not at that sound, you should probably take it out. So usually what I do, I'll let it sit for roughly three minutes, two to three minutes each side. I like it pretty rare. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that. <laughs> I get a lot of hate for it, but it's delicious, so I don't care. Um, it just kind of keeps it nice and juicy. Flank, in particular, I really like because it's probably one of the leanest beefs you can get mm -hmm. that doesn't taste like leather. I'm super cereal. Telling how cooked your steak is without using a meat thermometer. Take your finger, I use my middle finger, and you wanna check and see how much bounce you're getting back from the steak. If it's pretty bouncy, you can kind of feel the middle, if the sides start to go out just a little bit on smaller steaks too. You can tell it's about the medium rare, kind of rare side of things. But if it's not giving too much back to you, you see this is giving me a nice bounce in the middle, which means that's about medium rare right there. And the general rule I use, closer you get to your pinky, is more well done. So forefinger, that'd be rare, medium, rare. Middle finger, that'd be medium, rare, medium. But then pinky, obviously, would be like a well done shoe leather. You don't want shoe leather. Now what I've found to do when I'm cooking two steaks like this, you don't want to take the cooked steak and put it where the raw steak was before you, uh, before you clean it. And in this situation, obviously, I can't just throw this in the water because there's another steak on here. So, I take, I usually store my steak in, in bags. I take the steak, put it directly in here so it can rest. And then that way, I can free up this one, put my other steak in here, and while I'm waiting for this to cook, I can clean the cutting board, and I'll be ready to go by the time this other steak is rested. And you definitely wanna let your steaks sit before you cut them open for roughly five to 10 minutes, depending on how long you cooked it. Because if you don't, the juices are gonna come out, it's not gonna be as good. And it's not done cooking, honestly. It keeps cooking until it's dead cold. So you wanna let it sit there, let it finish off. Tastes 
test it out. Grab a piece, save one for Brandon the cameraman. So it came out really nice, really excited. You know, meat prep's a lot easier when you're actually enjoying what you're eating. And we'll actually post the macros for the plank, excluding the oil, um, right, probably on the screen, if not in the, in the description. So let's test it out. Cheers. Mm. Dynamite.